What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're out here on beautiful Lake Tuscaloosa. I'm fixing to run up into some of these pockets, throw some worms, lizards, brush hogs, just typical uh, Texas rig stuff around. Let's see if there's any largemouth hanging around waiting to be caught. Man, it's a nice pretty afternoon. Got a couple hours to fish after work. Uh, let's see. Water temp right now is sitting at 69.6 degrees. But just a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Now, before we get this thing going, if y'all are enjoying the content that I've been putting out, please make sure to smash that like button. If you'd please consider subscribing to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. And also make sure you got that notification bell clicked so you don't miss any of the awesome content we've got coming down the pike. Y'all stay tuned. We'll see how it turns out. Now, now my buddy Blake, he's been fishing the lake a whole lot more than me here lately. And he is telling me that they're keying in on a uh, Zoom baby brush hog Texas rig right now. So we're going to start off chunking one of those around. Yeah, I just got it Texas rig with a little eighth ounce bullet weight. We're just gonna ease him around through the grass, see what happens. That's probably been since this time last year since I fished this part of the lake. I see there's been some changes. There's a new dock back there. Wasn't there last time I fished here. The slough was completely empty. Nothing but grass and lily pads. Oh, got one already, guys. See, old Blake was right about the uh, the Texas rig zoom brush hog, it looks like. I mean, this ain't nothing to brag about, just a little baby, but it is a fish to get us started anyway. All right, buddy, go back and grow some. All right, good to get the confidence going early on this fishing trip. I was kind of discouraged before I even started fishing because my boat is a... Uh, Ever since we were down in Florida, it's been having trouble with going into reverse, which I mean, I've pretty much decided that's gotta be something in the shift cable. Cause I can stick my hand back there and I mean, I can get it to change between every gear fine. It works fine in each gear. But for whatever reason with the shifter, sometimes it'll shift into reverse, sometimes it won't. So I've got me a new shift cable on order now and we'll get that put on and see if that resolves our problem. I'll let that rattle me a little bit and Kind of got discouraged, so good to get that little bass pretty quick. Get the confidence going. So there's one thing about fishing, confidence is key. You don't have that confidence going. I mean, you just make little simple, stupid mistakes. Which gets you even more frustrated than those mistakes start piling up. In the past, this little pocket's treated me pretty well. We'll see how it does me today. Oh man, just missed one. <laughs> Dang. They biting anyways. They are biting. You got him. Oh yeah. That is a little bit better than that first one. Uh huh. He just barely picked it up. Got number two on the brush hog, y'all. He's a good bit bigger than that first one. All right, bud. All right, we're right here at spot number two now. Caught a couple right there in that first batch of grass. See if we can find some out here in this. We will see. We got us another one. You'll pay a little joker. He ain't quite got the color to him that uh, those other two that I caught earlier did. They were a little bit darker. They were up in the shallower water. Well, he's probably about the same size as that last one I caught. All right, buddy. Go back and grow some for us. 
And guys, I don't know how long it's been since I've just tied on a little light Texas rig and worked grass with it. Just seems like a foreign concept nowadays with all the new techniques coming out. I'm one of them fishermen that tends to get caught by the new shiny technique. I'll tend to stop doing the old tried and true methods. And besides a shaky head, I always throw a shaky head. <laughs> That's something I I never forget about throwing. But yeah, just a simple old Texas rig. I really don't know when the last time I threw one was. It's definitely good to get back to the basics sometimes. Just get back to the old tried and true old school techniques. There's a reason that they have stay in power. They stuck around as long as they have. They simply work. They catch fish. Lots of these new techniques, they catch us as fishermen. Like I said, I'm one of the guiltiest people of that. Which, heck, I'm a sucker for marketing with anything. I mean, with daggum drinks, fast food, whatever. I mean, somebody puts out something new and heavily markets it. You can bet your money I'm going to try it. I'm going to hunt it down and try it. There's more on right here. On a jet ski, zipping through a no wake zone. I mean, cutting right there between that little hole between that bass boat and that point. In a no wake zone, mind you. Some people are, just can't do nothing for them. Ain't no words for them. Here he is, y'all. He got strapped up in that log. I might have seen him. Might have to go get him. Oh man. <laughs> All that to get back here to him and he come off. <laughs> I don't know if y'all were able to see him on the camera or not, but I set that hook and he jumped up out of the water. Then got me wrapped around that stick. Dang. Sounds like we sheared the pin in the trolling motor. That's what it sounds like we're doing. Sure did. But yeah, it appears, I don't know if y'all can see that center shaft, but it ain't moving. As you can see, I'm spinning the prop. It appears when I went up in that thick stuff, that I either knocked the pin that is on that shaft that goes into the trolling motor blade out of place, or I sheared the pin. Which, regardless, I don't have the tools with me out here on the water to fix it. I probably should keep them on my boat. Probably should keep something that'll fit that size bolt. And like a spare pin or something that'll fit in that pin hole. As a spare with me in case something like this were to happen. <sighs> but as it stands, that right there is going to cut our fishing day short. Is what it is. What are you going to do? Right, guys that's gonna be a wrap for today as y'all saw right there at the end did something to my prop i'm pretty sure i sheared the daggum pin inside of a uh, inside of there that uh connects the shaft to the propeller and that makes the prop spin that seems to be what i did so i tried to turn the prop by hand it's spinning freely and that shaft isn't moving um yeah almost certain that's what i've done but it's having a really bad run of bad luck with the boat here uh, lately Last time I had it out, I didn't get a video on that because when fish wasn't biting, we didn't do any good fishing. But I actually hit something right there with my skeg, broke the skeg. <laughs> so I've got a daggum uh, skeg protector on order to put back on that thing. 
That's gonna slide it on there, drill a couple holes right there in it, put the bolt through it. She'll be good as new. And I've also got a egg on a shift cable on order. To get that replaced so we can get that shifting issue resolved on the main motor. But yeah, it's gonna be a wrap for this one. Like I said back at the beginning, if y'all are enjoying the content, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, get the notification bell clicked. But I appreciate all y'all's support, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all next time.